it is. So those two Ds, the same note and harmonic, but it forces me to play in the key of D. Yuck. <laughs> I have two sharps to deal with. Here I go. Francisco State University. It wasn't part of the curriculum. He just, just did it one day, and my jaw dropped, because I knew something had happened. Yeah. And he never explained it, but then he said, boy, I love those enharmonic transposers. Yeah. And he coined that term. He coined that term. It's not acknowledged anywhere else. And if you ever tell a musician, uh, I want to do an enharmonic transpose, he or she is just going to look at you like you're an idiot. <laughs> Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Not if it's about my mom. Hi, mom. So my mom's in the hospital and I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, no, sorry. No, 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 that's okay. She's okay. But oh, she's okay. Okay. I just, that's why I, I, I was supposed to have it on. Now, in example three, what makes an enharmonic key change so easy? I just have to do a mathematics, mathematics. So if you see that's example three, that second measure, there we have that D note. <laughs> I'm still playing in the key of C, but the programmable transposer in preset three is playing it in the key of D. It sounds like I'm doing a real enharmonic transpose, and in a way I am, but I'm still playing in the key of C. Okay? And to figure out what key I have to go to, here we go. That second measure, example three, second measure, the right hand note is a D. The third measure, the right hand note is a C. I want that C to be a D. Now since the transpose works in half step increments, I have to raise the transpose to anybody? Up two steps. Up two and half steps. steps. And that D and the chord and the C pedal becomes D. D. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hector hates it when I do this. He absolutely, we have arguments. We have arguments because <laughs> we, we argue all the time. But the thing is, is that he has perfect pitch. So is Rosemary. Yeah, Rosemary. Yeah, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, she has perfect pitch too, but with, but with Hector, if he sees me playing it in the key of C and hears it coming out in a different key, it upsets him. You know, and he has to leave the room. You know, there's, there's a disconnect to him. You know? and, uh, and he's always going, Stan, Stan, you know, you, you graduate college. You could, do, you, you could do it, this key change. For real, and I said, but Hector, the organ does it. Well, you know, why should I continue to torture myself when the organ will do it for me? So uh, essentially everything on page one in a nutshell has covered what I just showed you here on page two. On page two. I love enharmonic key changes. 
the registrations are in the organ for anybody who would like, like to take them. Um, are there any questions? I'm sorry. Give your phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, I'm gonna get technical and I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to understand. I know that D is part of the five seven chord, the G seven, which is you know, yeah, G7, right. all right. And it's the fifth step. Does it always have to be that note or it doesn't matter what that note is in that particular chord before you start the A section as long as you're just going to that key with the transpose? Does that make sense? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I caught it. I don't know how to say that without sounding too technical. But when you want to do this type of key change, like in that example three, on page two, that second measure D note is of utmost importance, okay. that D note. Yep. And in the next measure, it has to be a D note. That's the end harmonic time, well, the same note. That's what you're gonna transpose to, I get yes. that. Mm -hmm. But does it matter whatever that whole note is, whatever song it was, this is in the key of C, that's the, usually a lot of times that have been in a section going into the next one, you kind of have those chord, kind of chords that match. Oh, oh so the, the modulating chords. Does it chords. matter what kind of, it doesn't. That's no. all I wanted to know. Yeah, okay, because yeah, no. this makes sense, it's only a step apart, but it wouldn't matter with the transpose. In a nutshell, this type of key change is a shock. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> but it, you see, it just shocked me. No. Um. <laughs> yes. At what, counting one, two, three, four down mm -hmm. the measure, at what point, at what count number do you transpose? And then on the first count of the next measure. So you, you carry it from the, the, so on this one here, we're actually changing at the minute we hit that D7 chord in example three now? C chord. C chord. Example three. Well, example three down there, the second measure has a D minor seven on top. Of right. It, and you got D note. At right. that point, is right at that point, you switch uh, presets. No, third measure. That's what I asked. Yes, 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 yes. And that's where this key so change. The third measure, oh, you pops in. You little dot, 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 all the way going across, including the second measure. And that was why I was wondering. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got that, 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 the transpose is at P preset three, okay? You can solve the preset three, P three, and that's where. <laughs> yes. And that's what that one professor always taught me, you know. Because in, in college you're taught if you're gonna make a key change, you start doing the modulating chords, you know, so that you prepare the audience, you know. When they start hearing those modulating chords, they know you're gonna change keys. He said, throw that away. Throw, particularly for popular music. Just pretend like you're gonna continue in the key of C, and then wow, you know, you know it, it changed the key, but particularly if you do it in this process, in this process. Um, uh, page four. Oh, I did this in England. I did this in England. The more I see you, this is an enharmonic change in, in uh, uh, the, the more I see you. I have to admit, it worked brilliantly. <laughs> did everybody get a copy of it? No. Who didn't get a copy? Okay, it's, it's in the 
Yes. Because I'll go I got all three copies if you didn't get it. Ooh. What did we raise your hand? Did you were talking about the music for that song or what? The, no. four the, four four yeah, the four pages. Yeah, the four pages. I got page four. You didn't get page four? I have page four. I don't have any music for page four, but I do have page four. No, you have everything. Four it's yeah, four so, so we don't get the music to go along with the more. Hi there. How are you today? Okay, the more I see you. And the less I see you. <laughs> yeah, the less I see you, right. Okay, the top line is the song exactly as it is in the key of E flat. Top line. Switch keys that fast, but the effect is devastating. 